When's the last time you had the hut though? Huh? Maybe early 90s? Watching Ninja Turtles? Hope so. Let's get into it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a favorite one, Pizza Hut. Haven't had it in a hot, hot minute, so I was like, let me get that. I did order this like box combo. Let's just show you. Da, 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 da. Maybe break down this barrier, see if I can get a better look on that. Ruckus sounds. Speaking of sound, first uh, apology of the video will be that. The sound today is gonna be just iPhone quality. Unfortunately, I lost the doohickey attachment from a microphone to go to my iPhone. So I'm lacking on my proper microphone today. So, I mean, sue me, but you know, let me live. But yeah, anyways, I got this square pan pizza, pepperoni, half mu uh, mushroom, and then half pepperoni. And of course I did it to him, I'm sorry, but you gotta do a little pineapple on your pizza, you know what I mean? <sighs> okay. I know we got a lot of pineapple haters in the world, but I'm a lover of uh, a lover of pineapples on the za. We also hit up Wing Street with this combo. So we've got the boneless honey barbecue boneless bites, which looks like they didn't get a good shaking. So let's do that. A shake, shake, shake. A shake, shake, shake. I shake your booty. I shake your booty. Classic. Have a look in there. Look at fire. And then they were gonna offer the Caesar salad with it, but unfortunately in, I don't know if it's Canada, maybe just Ontario, wherever, we're having a Caesar salad E. coli scare in romaine lettuce. So they couldn't offer me the uh, Caesar salad. So we have another delight that we're gonna go with later on. That's involved in this, but we'll pull it out a little later. Also, we gotta get the bubbly Pepsi going. And you guys know it wouldn't be a 90s Pizza Hut delicious treat without a good Pepsi. Cause. Let's be honest. Pepsi was definitely the quintessential treat of Pizza Hut, I believe. Now they switched over to Coke. All right, let's get into this. I'm excited, nappies on deck. I'm just gonna spew my guts on this one. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, Creamy G, of course. This one's, I got this down from the grocery store downstairs just because I don't really love Pizza Hut's dipping sauces too, too much. Of course, you gotta be difficult. Like, really? Just the tab rips off? Well, maybe I'll just grab this one. See how this one, yeah, there we go. Come on, all right, thank you. All right, sick. Yeah, I don't know. Pizza Hut's dipping sauce isn't the most fire. That, however, is the most fire this uh, bubbly pan, oh, I mean, it's just too signature. Like the hut is so, unmatched, like you can't replicate it. It's 100% like it's unique, own unique thing. It's just like when it's good too, it's so good. Yeah, you guys know I'm shaking. Yes, yeah, wow, see? This is what you want. For all you pizza places out there, This is what you want in a dip, in a creamy garlic dip. You want to be able to do this and have nothing happen, nothing come out. It needs to be that thick and creamy.
like sludge. Mm. In heaven right now. Haven't had the hot. In a minute. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Let's try one of these bites. It's got the honey barbecue, which is a good sauce from Hut. I'm actually gonna ranch this though instead. That's another thing though where they're falling short a little bit is with their wing sauces. I don't like their hot, their mild, all that. They just, they taste very strange. Mm. That right there though. That is gold. They do have quality chicken though. You know what? I'm gonna try with the creamy G. Actually really good. Works, it actually works. What pisses me off about this combo, it's like choose two sides. And it's like, it gives you the option of the chicken bites, the Caesar salad, breadsticks, uh, or uh, Cineparts. But it's like, why can't you double up on one side? Why can't I just get two orders of the chicken? Why do I have to like, be forced into breadsticks or Caesar salad or whatever? Probably because chicken's more expensive, but. It's just annoying, like let me have you know, the two options that I want. You know, don't mess around. You gotta love that bubbly pepperoni. This this part, this, this uh, edge piece, crucial. Very crucial in Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut etiquette. Man, this is so blessed. I haven't had a Zaw this fire. I think a good while. So on a note about sound and quality and things like that, I present to you the Lumix G7. My new baby. Picked this guy up uh, a few days ago. I'm just waiting on a few things for it just to like maximize it. 4K camera. I've been messing around with it. The quality on it is so good. So I'm so excited. The quality of the videos, once I get the mic for it, and uh, I just need like a, the, this cable for it, which I'm waiting on, it's on order, it's coming in. Like, I'm jacked. I cannot wait to start shooting both all these food videos, the cooking videos are gonna get so much doper, all the shots are gonna get so much thicker. I'm gonna start shooting other stuff, I can like start vlogging now, go to places, try food. I could shoot videos for, for my music, 
for those pineapple lovers out there. So that's a game changer. And I'm turbo hyped, turbo excited for it. It's insane how good the quality is. Like, I was just dicking around, taking some shots, some video, kind of like of myself and like some up close and like trying to like getting it to zoom and it's just absolutely wild. like this pizza is right now out of control oh my god I don't know why this meal is hitting so hard but it is You guys are probably noticing that I'm wearing this weird hat. This more pom pom toque. Kind of an off brand color for me. I don't usually wear blues or royal blues or Pepsi blues. But there's a reason why I got this. And it says what it says and it is what it is, is because my man, ASMR Addiction, if you haven't checked him out, go check him out, smaller channel. He's just trying to come up right now. He's very consistent with his videos lately. Um, another Canadian guy, just randomly found his channel. Seems like a really nice down to earth, good guy. That's all I'm wearing this stuff and it reps my family name so I'm like yo I need some of that <clears throat> so I hit him on on a comment and he's like yo email me and we'll figure out getting you some of this stuff I'm like dope so we start talking on the email he's like yeah this is the company I work for I'll ask my boss, I'll see what I can get for you. And all I wanted was like a t-shirt or a hat or something, whatever. So he's like, I got you fam, I got you. I'm like, all right. Hits me up with the email, he's like, I just sent out the package, be on the lookout in the next week or so. so I've just been waiting around package comes in big box this man sent me a long sleeve tee a toque a hat a brimmed hat and a hoodie four pieces I'm like yo that's insane, man. That, there's no way that didn't cost you any money. Most employers are charging for uniform and extended uniform. I ain't shit free in this world. I'm like, yo, I'll send you the cost or whatever. Whatever fees you incurred He's like, honestly, man, don't worry about it. I got you. It's like, he's like, it's all good. It's all love. I'm just like, what? Like, Merry Christmas to me. So thank you so much, man. Like, bless you. I hope your Christmas is great. If there's anything I can send you, I don't know. 
you let me know. But for those of you who have not checked this dude out, please hit his channel up, subscribe. Like, he has great ASMR content, and he's clearly just a very good human being. And so, he deserves the support. So, if any of you are listening to this, watching this, please go check out ASMR Addiction. Very good guy. I know I've been a little uh, light with the uploads, but it's all for good cause and good reason. Um, I ask for your patience with me. Just what's happening right now is like a my schedule kind of keeps not lining up the greatest with my situation. So it's like, I don't get the opportunity as much lately to film. I've had some weird times where like when I do have the chance, I have to go do something else. And just some weird stuff kind of lining up. And then also I'm on this like mission right now to be very frugal and save a lot of money and I'm working more and I'm trying to save up all this money but it's all gonna come back around in the future on this channel. And you guys will see it in due time. It's just gonna be like a little while still, maybe five, six months or whatever. But like the upgrades that are gonna happen to me and this channel and everything and all my creative endeavors, when I execute on these savings goals and these financials and everything like that. I mean, it's already happening. Like I just bought this, not cheap. I'm doing really calculated, smart baby steps to get to where I want to be. And I see like the long haul ahead of me, but I see what's possible. And I'm just taking all these proper steps, but things are going to get increasingly so much better to the point where like it's going to be channel overhaul it's going to be multi-channel overhaul new, new stuff on the peripheries new places to subscribe new ideas just everything like the, the game is going to completely switch up in time i promise you that whole new settings just yeah, new workspace, new everything. Like it's all gonna be very different, but for the better. So I'm super jazzed about it. Like I'm just like, I'm really like, I'm super like excited about like when you're, I've just been spending my days, like I have this like vision in my head and I keep picturing it, I keep envisioning all these things. And it's like, just that whole thing about manifestation, like I'm already taking, like I've already executed on steps towards that manifestation and like things are slowly but surely like piece by piece coming together and they're going to come together even more so. And I'm like, for the first time in a long time, I'm really like on my, sort of like discipline, discipline path, whoops, on how to get to where I want to go. And I feel like really psyched and happy and hopeful and very confident. And what I'm going to do in the coming years, but even in the coming like four or five, six months. So just know that my absence or my slowness is kind of due to a whole master plan 
that's actually going to like triple down, like times three the whole shit. So don't just don't get discouraged with me. Baby steps is the key. Patience and persistence is what I'm practicing. And to anybody out there who feels defeated or hopeless or whatever, like things are impossible, you can't achieve what you want to achieve, that's the message we're going to have to leave you with. That's like a whole damn chicken tender. Is envisioning it. Taking the first step and taking the step so on and so forth after that, but baby steps. One at a time, it can't happen too fast. You can't rush greatness. Anything that happens too fast usually goes away pretty fast, so it's worth building then build it. But building takes time. Can't build a building in a day. The long and short of it, ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Just take a step in the right direction. We just keep applying that pressure. You know, be committed, be confident, stick to your plan, stick to your goals. You know, if you need to save money to get some things, save that. Live tight. Stop going out. Don't go drinking. Don't go to the movies. Don't order $30 of pizza. Like, this is a treat to myself. Make tight choices. Save that money. Buy a tool. You know what I mean? This was an expensive thing, but this is a tool that is potentially going to, the return on investment, ROI, this should have return on investment. I should be able to pay off this tool via what I'm going to use it for. You made it this far, you're a G. I'm about to bring out a little something, something that we never do on the channel. And that there is called dessert. But what do we got here? what looks like a brain. It really does look like a brain. Cineparts. I never do dessert. But, there's a first for everything, right? All right. Hot. I had it in the oven this whole time really hot. Oh my god. Oh. Mmm. Pretty good. See, this is the reason. I don't know. I'm not like a huge dessert person. Oh, go ball. Oh, who hot. Wow. Also, I'm really full. I've had enough dough. I don't really love cinnamon either. I don't know, maybe that's weird, but it's not my favorite. Hold oh, on. That's too hot. I'm sorry. It's too hot and I'm too full. I'll have it later. I will have a little more Pepsi though. It is really good, but like I said, too hot, too full. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.